first we're going to start with is a brace of Maine farm quail. So when you say a brace, that's English or old English for two. And we're going to roast them in the wood oven right here. What's the temperature in there right now? It's probably about eight or nine hundred. Feel the heat. It's, it's pretty it's deep in there. Pretty too. intense. So we're going to start with what? What we're going to put with the uh, quail today is we're going to make a pretty simple end right. of the summer vegetable succotash. All this stuff is local. We've picked some of the best stuff. And a succotash usually always has at least corn, tomatoes, beans, squash, right and then pepper. It would be real clean, like end of summer, super fresh vegetable. And then the kind of mild flavor of the quail, I think, will come together real nice. Let's get on with the succotash. We're going to do it all separately because, you know, you could just put it all in there together and cook it off at once. We're going to cook everything separately just right. So what are we doing with the, uh, the corn? Is that just going to roast it off? It and we're going to roast it real quick. The sugar content of this corn is so high, we're going to barely put any oil on it and then put it in a real hot pan. The beans we're just going to pick and blanch and shock, you know, so they're nice and snappy. I like that crunch that you hear when you, that snap, as you say, that snap. And then the next thing is zucchini summer squash here. That is the deepest yellow it is I a, have <laughs> ever seen. It's like a fluorescent canary yellow. It is, isn't it? The deeper, the darker the colors, the better they are for you. That's where all the nutrients are. And that's where you got to keep thinking when you're buying produce. Put the zucchini summer squash in. I bet that corn's ready now. That's just what we're looking for. Woo! That is purely gorgeous. So those are about where we want them. You know, they're just cooked. You need a little crunch, yeah. as we say. Yeah. We've got a couple different type of peppers, and we'll do that similar to everything else. We'll yep. roast them on their own and season them up pretty good. And next, we'll do uh, some tomato here. So generally, if you want to take the skin off a tomato, you drop it in a little bit of boiling water, you blanch it quickly, and the skin basically just comes off. I like to just kind of skin them with a knife. This is a trained professional. Be careful at home. Now. <laughs> so now it's time for the bird. We're going to bring the two birds out. We're going to truss them up, coat them in a little bit of garlic oil. Beautiful. Season them light, a little bit of herb, and then we'll put them about halfway up the oven. All right, our uh, quail's about ready to deglaze. Nice. Look at that. And watch that. Boom. It sort of rehydrates, and it really starts creating your sauce. We deglaze. We'll put that in the oven to reduce. So imagine by now, quail is yep. more or less done. I think it's about where it needs to be. What we'll do is just uh, we'll put the finishing touches on it. And now we're going to take everything we made for the succotash and just kind of work it in there. But again, this is a lean bird. It's beautiful. Game meats are very, very lean. We're going to use just a bit of uh, a poultry stock. Beautiful. All right. Get that in. And there we go. A brace of quail and some succotash. Look at the colors, look at the textures, and then look at these two little fellas there just hanging out in their <laughs> nice jacuzzi of jus. I like that. So I've got the texture all going on here. You know, it's, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs>